Hi, welcome back to this Facebook course. So now that you've had a look around all the icons at the top, we're going to have a look at your newsfeed in a bit more detail. So as I mentioned before, your newsfeed is just a scrolling page. It just goes on indefinitely all the way down. And what Facebook is doing is showing your posts from your family and friends and adverts um, all on this one page. Now, once Facebook's shown you something once, if you were to go into Facebook again in um, two or three hours time, it's going to show you something different. So if you think, oh, I'll go back and have a look at that post, that's why you can't f usually find it um, unless you go onto your friend's page or onto the page that the original post came from. Um, so that's, that's how Facebook works. It, it will never continuously show you the same post because it knows you would get bored and not come back. And the whole intention of Facebook is to get you to keep coming back and reading um, because that's just how Facebook's designed. So let's have a little look around like we did before. Right at the top, you will always have a what's on your mind box. with a. If you have put a picture on, like I've got one there, with a picture of you on the left hand side. If you haven't, it's not a problem. Um, you, you don't have to have a picture on. But obviously, if you do, people will see it's you uh, and, and recognise your posts and comments easier. So it, it does usually work better if you do put a photograph on there. So the what's on your mind box, that basically is where you create a post onto Facebook, which I'll cover later on how to do that. So let's see what else we've got on this page. Um, we'll just, sorry, we'll just, we'll just go back. So you don't worry if things pop up because they pop up for me like this. Um, I'll just allow it to access my location. That's fine. It doesn't. It's fine if it knows where I am, um, because it helps to show me local information. So I just don't panic if things pop up. Just read what it says and decide if you're happy to allow or not, um, because it happens to everybody. Okay, so we've done the top part. Um, we're not going to cover the live because that's only if you want to broadcast a live video. Your photos will come back to and check in. That's usually if people might, when they've gone to a restaurant or a hotel, they'll click on check in and say that they're there and it posts to Facebook and the family and friends can see that so-and-so's at um, Gino's restaurant in town or something like that. Um, it's not a feature I use very often, but I know people do like to use it. So we'll go further down. This one here um, is telling me that this post is from this fabric group. It's a fabric group that I'm in. Um, I know it's a group because it says there group post and it says the, per the name of the person who created that post. So this isn't one of my friends. It's a group that I'm in um, because I'm interested in sewing. So I see posts from this particular group here. And every group usually has its own picture. So if I see that green photo, that I know which group that's from. Um, and obviously the name's there as well. So we've got the post created. Um, obviously you would read that. We can see that this post has had seven comments underneath. At the moment, you might be able to see it's only showing me two comments here. You can see these two people have commented here. If I wanted to read all seven comments, which you may or may not want to do, you just tap where it says seven comments or it could be 20 comments, 30 comments. Tap on there and it will open up a page and show you the whole conversation that people are talking about. Um, and then you can, and we'll, get, we'll, we'll, we'll come more onto this, but you can add your own comment at the bottom, but I'll cover that more in a, in a video about posting and commenting. So for now, if we've read the comments, um, we'll just use the back button. You'll be able to find a back button somewhere and it will take you back to your news feed. So let's go down a little bit more and I'll just show you a couple of other things. 
So this one here from the mill shop, um, this one is actually a sponsored advert. If you see the word sponsored, it's a paid advert on Facebook. And Facebook are very clever in that they know your interests and they get to know your interests and the things that you like um, very quickly. And Facebook show you adverts that it thinks will be more relevant to you. So the adverts you get will be different to what anybody else gets. And you can see this one here, Facebook is showing me a, a fabric advert. And that's because a lot of the things I look at, well, not a lot, but I do look at quite a few pages on sewing and um, fabrics. So it knows to show me uh, fabrics because... Um, Obviously, if somebody's paying to advertise on Facebook, they want to reach the people that are more interested in their product. So that's that's an actual advert there. Um, if I scroll down, you can see it's telling me the price. Again, I could click on to comment. I'll go down a little bit further. Um, this one, this is an actual group, and some of you may want to join some of these local groups. So this is a group called Crossgates Yesterday, Today and Tomorrow. Um, somebody's just asked a question in that group. So it's just show me the post of what they've asked. Um, somebody might come along and click and answer that question for them. But that's um, not a friend or family. So it always tells you who's created the post and what page the post was in so the person and the page are the group so you know what's going on um, and where these posts are coming from and um, again we've got somebody asking a question in another group there next one down is another sponsored advert so you may get um, a sponsored advert every three four or five posts that come up and you see so again you might be wondering what's going on why you're getting these but um, you can't get away from it on Facebook it's always going to show you adverts because you're using their service for free so you will agree to being shown adverts on here um, another one from another another two groups going down uh, somebody's updated the profile picture and another advert so you can see here, this is just an advert for Samsung. Um, and again, Facebook's very good. It's telling me that this person who's a, who's a friend on my Facebook likes this product. And sometimes Facebook thinks if your friend likes something, you may like it as well. And that's why it's showing me that um, because it, it's, it's, it's drawing your attention to it really because it's an advert. Um, and that's, uh, again, what it's doing. You can see this particular ad advert has had 59, 56 comments. Uh, the videos had 159,000 views. That's quite a popular advert, is that going on? So that's, your, that's an overview of your news feed. And we will get into a little bit more detail on commenting, on sharing and on creating posts as we go along. But for now, I just want you to, just to get used to scrolling down your newsfeed and noticing the difference between any pages, any groups, being able to tap on your comments and just being aware of the difference um, between any adverts that are on there as well and just getting familiar with how it, how it looks. So that's your first that's your first place to start and then we'll move on further in the next video.